when a banana spider clashes with an orange horned katydid. It's a battle to die for. There are many femme fatales in the rainforest. But the orange horned katydid is the ultimate mean girl. This is a body slamming, take no prisoners, bite your head off type. And trust me, when she's in a fighting mood, you don't want to mess with her. A sit and wait predator. Very little escapes this consummate murderess. Those huge compound eyes give the cat a very good vision. And the long antenna allow her to feel and sense prey from a great distance. So another predator would have to mount a surprise attack in order to have any kind of competitive advantage. Tangling with this bug is a daunting prospect. She's armed to the teeth. Savagely spiked back legs are spring-loaded weapons that deliver a lethal kick or launch her out of danger in a single bound. These muscular hind limbs allow a katydid to jump up to 20 times its body length. Now, even on a human Olympic world record long jumper, can jump a distance maybe five times his body length. So this insect makes our most stellar athlete look pathetic by comparison. This hapless cricket could kick itself or straying into the katydid's murderous clutches. The only type of hugs that the orange horn katydid gives are fatal ones. She wraps them up with the spiked arms, piercing them with the spines, and then goes in for some hardcore mouth action from which they will never recover. Two sets of feelers help her work out the size and shape of her meal. Wickedly sharp mandibles with hardened black tips mangle the cricket's soft tissue. With her belly full, the leftovers are discarded like yesterday's lunch. The orange-horned Katie did isn't the only ruthless female in this forest. With a sleek body, slender tapered legs, and attractive markings, the female banana spider is a bug world beauty queen. She rules her world ruthlessly from her webs that she weaves with spun gold. Concealed in her golden castle, the deadly queen waits for her victims to come by. A prey item has come in, she feels the vibrations, and she rushes down to grab it. With her victim trapped, the banana spider shows her true colors, and it's not a pretty sight. Behind hairy feelers, known as pedipalps, are large curved fangs that inject powerful venom, then tear the prey apart. A tiny leaf hopper is just a snack. Next time, the beauty queen will be looking to supersize her meal. But not all of the banana spider's conquests are disposed of so easily. The orange-horned katydid has wings. What happens when the ultimate mean girl is on a collision course with a high-wire huntress? Next, female killers fight for their lives. Then, a gilt-edged destroyer takes on a deadly assassin. And later, Fight Club in the Forest. In the moonlit jungle, a banana spider sits patiently in her silken death trap, waiting to welcome her next victim. Not far away, a female orange-horned katydid 
loiters with murderous intent. Two female killers at the top of their game are about to do battle. Dripping with toxic venom, the banana spider's fangs can take out any prey. But the orange-horned katydids, spiky limbs, and razor-sharp mandibles could easily cut her enemy clean in half. Keen for a kill, the orange-horned katydid launches straight into danger. The banana spider approaches with caution. She's tapping that katydid with her front leg to see whether the katydid has much give. Is it able to get loose? The katydid pokes back. But the beauty queen now has her opponent in her sights. As long as a katydid can hold the spider's fangs at bay, it has some chance of surviving this. But defending yourself while being tangled and strong and sticky silk is a pretty tall order. The katydid struggles to escape, but finds itself deeper in the web. The banana spider seizes its chance. Sharp fangs pierce the katydid's abdomen, delivering their toxic payload. Even as the venom shuts down her nervous system, the orange-horned katydid tries to bite through the silken trap. The beauty queen approaches again. The katydid isn't giving up. She fights furiously. This is a great example of how deeply entrenched the will to survive is with these animals. She just keeps on fighting, no matter how bad the odds. Eventually, the katydid's struggles grow feeble. The web weaver delivers the death blow. It's been a titanic battle. The beauty queen wraps the spoils and begins her long victory feast. She doesn't bother with regal table manners. Digestive enzymes break down the katydid's body, turning soft tissue into a protein shake. In the bug world, Beauty queens don't get their kudos from crowning ceremonies. They get their kicks when their rivals are trash on the forest floor. <laughs>